Hello, Master Tron Tamer here, and we've got unboxing to do. Um, one clue, you can see, this is from the company All Powers. And then let's go ahead and open that up um, so we can see what's in there. Pull this off the edge here, it'll be a little easier to open. like you to see that this is well maybe that isn't going to work because of the weight. I'll show you we've got foam on the top and on the bottom and on the sides. Go ahead and pull it out. There we go, and hopefully you can now um, see this. But boy, it is not trivial in weight. It does have a nice sturdy handle on it for carrying it. But what we have got here um, is a solar panel to use with a portable battery unit. Sometimes called a generator, just a battery storage unit. But let's see what we've got in the first piece here. Okay, this is our power cable. And this is a standard one I've seen used with solar before. So we have two of those. Here, this looks like charging or extension cords to go with that. Um, we have some various carabiners for hanging it, I'm assuming, where we want to put it. And then we have um, some instructions. Let me go ahead. I want to keep all this together. So I'm going to sip that up. Well, I can look at the instructions. And I think what I'm going to have to do is go to the outdoors to actually show you this. But I did kind of want you to see how it comes. And what we've got here is a portable, although a little bit heavy, um, solar panel. It's supposed to be 400 watts of solar so that we can charge up um, a unit. Yeah, it says 400 watts right here, 37.4 volts. So, um, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll get this set up and outdoors where we could actually take a real pick a good shot of it and see how it works and I'll get it hooked up to a unit and we'll try it out we'll make sure it does what it's supposed to do so let me get that set up and we'll take a look at it okay I've completed my test of the solar panel and overall um, I'm impressed it seems like a solid product and it performed um, very well um, under a real test environment. Um, a couple of things I wanted to mention about them. Um, 
it's a lot of solar panel. <laughs> so um, it's heavier than you would think. So you have to take that into consideration when you're thinking about toting it around. But there's no way around it. I mean, if you want this kind of wattage, you're going to need a big solar panel. So um, it's going to have to have some weight. Now, the manufacturer, I can just tell by looking at it, has done everything they can to reduce that weight. But it's still substantial. So um, just know that it has some weight when you're working with it. Um, and because of that, the easiest way to set it up is to fold it all the way out on the ground or um, grass, whatever you're on, and then have two people lift it up. The reason for this is behind the unit are props. And these props, um, you have to kind of fold them out at the same time when you lift it up like that. Um, and it's a little awkward to do with one person. That being said, after experimenting with it a little bit, I came up with a pretty good way of doing that that I was happy with. So the way I would do it as one person is I would lift it up while it was still folded up. Then I would put down a prop that it's just Velcroed to the back for the very first one. And then after I put that one down, I would fold out the next one and put its prop down. And then fold it out again, each time putting its prop down. Um, it still required a little bit of adjustment with the props after I was done, but it was completely doable to do as one person um, using a method like this. So again, my recommendation would be to do it with two people. But if you were in a situation where you just had one, it's absolutely possible to fold it out like that. All right, so now let's move on to the test results. The first time I put it out, um, it, 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 um, it was kind of iffy, <laughs> cloudy. It even started to rain a little bit during the first test. The good news is the panels held up in the rain just fine, didn't hurt them at all. I was a little nervous about that, but they seemed fine. The thing of it is, when it's overcast, it's going to dramatically reduce the performance of the panel. There's just nothing you can do about that. It's a thing about how much light is hitting the panel, you know, and there's, it's physics. Um, however, I was impressed that even with overcast um, and sun kind of poking out between the clouds, and even when there was a light rain, it still produced power. It was just reduced accordingly to how much light was actually hitting the panel. So I didn't feel like I was giving it a fair test on a day like that. So I waited a couple of days until I had a really brilliantly sunny day so I could see what the thing could truly do at its full potential. And then I went ahead and put it back out. And sure enough, it produces a lot of power when it's um, on a nice sunny day, as it was intended to do. So. Um, I'm glad I did that because now I kind of proved what I had always thought that that was the only thing really holding it back. So, um, as the sun kind of moved around a little bit, it fluctuated some, but all in all, it was good. My test showed from about a half empty 2000 series. I was able to get it, um, fully charged in about three hours. So to me, that's more than adequate because um, if you had one of these units um, and you were using it at night or, you know, in your RV or at your campsite, wherever you're using it um, and you run it down, ideally you should be able to charge it back up in one day. So knowing that it would take about six hours in full sun 
to charge it up from zero, um, that's in my book more than adequate um, capacity for what you might ever need. Now, you'll have to add some time on that if it's overcast. Um, you know, a seriously overcast day could double the time it would take. But, I mean, again, it's physics. It's all about how much light hits the panels. So, um, but even still, you could put a significant charge in it um, in a single day, even if it was overcast. So, um, I, I found it quite useful. I found it relatively easy to set up. It looks well made. Um, it put up with being out in the rain without any problems. I'm not 100% sure if you're supposed to put it in the rain, but hey, it worked for me. So I'm happy about that. Um, so all in all, um, I think it's a solid product. I think it could be an important addition if you were out camping or doing some other outdoor activity where there was no power. Um, I think it would work great in that application. So as always, I'll put a link in the description to where you can order the product if you're interested in that. Um, I was just notified by the company that they're um, doing a special promotion just for us. So um, I will also put a special code in the description. Um, if on checkout you type in the code, the Master Tron Tamer, they'll take 10% um, off site-wide. So if there's something that, they usually have a lot of really good sales going on, to be honest. But I love site-wide codes because, you know, what if you don't want to buy the thing that's on sale? Um, it works on everything. So um, I think that'll be fun. Um, feel free to use that code um, and hopefully save yourself some money. Um, for those leaving comments, um, I really enjoy reading comments. I love knowing how it, things have worked out for you, um, particularly if you were able to save some money. I am always for that if there's a way to do that. So I love hearing back that things are working um, for you. Or, of course, questions. If you have any questions about how I tested it or anything more about it, um, just leave me a comment and I'll be happy to, happy to answer that. So I think that does it for this. Again, positive review. I think it um, worked perfectly for what it was supposed to do. Um, if you would like, um, please go ahead and subscribe. Don't forget the thumbs up. Don't forget the little bell. Remember, if you want to be notified when a new video comes out. And I'll see you in our next video.